So the Pittsburgh Penguins have finally hired a coach. After three weeks of being on the job, Jim Rutherford finally gets his man. Well, not really. It was his third man, but he gets a man. That came out weird. Anyways, the Pittsburgh Penguins have hired Mike Johnston, formerly head coach and GM of the Portland Winterhawks, the very team that Penguins' very own prospect, top prospect, Derek Pouliot, plays for uh, to be their new head coach. He has a three-year deal starting next season, which is right in line with Rutherford's deal. So, um, this hiring, as Rob Rossi described it, sort of came out of left field. Uh, originally, we all thought the Penguins were going to get Bill Peters, and Mike Babcock's assistant in Detroit. He was their guy, but for some reason, he chose Carolina. Then we thought, okay, Willie Desjardins, who was fresh of his Calder Cup victory with the Texas Stars, who'd also won back-to-back -back, uh, World Junior medals, a gold and a silver, as coach of Canada's national junior team, would be coach. Um, but no, he decided to go to Vancouver for some reason, and he spurned the Penguins, which many people took as a slight to the Penguins organization. I mean, who would turn down a chance at Coach Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin? Then the rumors came out, okay, it was only given a two-year deal. He would not be able to pick his assistant coach. So then they had to start the search over, went to the third guy, who wasn't even originally interviewed in Mike Johnston, finally get him. And yes, his first assistant was hired on the spot. That was Rick Tockett, former Penguin Rick Tockett fan favorite who still lives in Pittsburgh and uh, it was reported that he would get this job for a while um, so Johnston did not get to choose him but he seems quite happy to have him on board but this was much um, Merrill Lemieux doing I, I presume as they're good buddies uh, Dan Bosma's coaches in Todd Reed and Antonio Granato were not retained whoever Jacques Martin was but we don't know in what rule yet not really that surprising as it's a regime change and usually when it's a regime change you got to make a full on clear out um but congratulations to Todd Reardon who's already found a job coaching the arch rival Washington Capitals as assistant coach there uh hopefully he can turn around Mike Green's career the way that Matt Niskanen said he turned on his career perhaps Matt, M Matt Niskanen goes to Washington as the UFA since uh he said coaching would play a big part in his decision and he really liked Todd Reardon uh, who would have thought he got a job before Dan and Ray? Hockey's a crazy world, man. Crazy world. Anyway, so, um, at first I didn't really get the hiring. Um, I mean, Fresh Out of Junior is kind of random, but I was looking more up into the hiring. Uh, he does have lots of experience coaching in the National Hockey League level. Uh, he coached for eight years as an assistant coach. Uh, he coached behind Mark Crawford and, um, some other, uh, another guy in L.A., probably Terry Murray, um, or Andy Murray, whatever. Uh, he also coached the World Championships, Team Canada World Championships 2007, won a gold medal, coached players like Chris Kunitz, Martin Brodeur, the 1988 Nagano Olympics, Wayne Gretzky, um, also coached 94 and 95 World Junior teams, uh, went back-to-back -back gold medals with them for Team Canada, coached players like Jason Allison and Jason Botterill, Penguins' very own associate GM, who is now his boss. That is a little fun tidbit. He is the uncle of Rebecca Johnston, who is star forward on Team Canada, two-time Olympian. I found that out today on Twitter. Oh, the things you find out on Twitter. He also is from Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, which is right across the bridge from where Cindy Crosby lives. Very close, so I wonder if they'll have some nice little chit-chats over the uh, summer holidays. Um... But yeah, actually, he's a quite impressive resume. Um, the main reason for his hiring was that he was able to bring adjustments, as Rutherford has stressed time and time again, and a big slight against Dan Bosmo is that he was not able to make adjustments on the fly. And uh, coaching at international tournaments like um, Johnston is done, you have to be able to make adjust a lot of adjustments pretty quickly. Um, he said a lot of the right things. He wants to have a very good puck possession game because... Um, if you have the puck more, you don't have to play in, in your end so much, and the Penguins, as we know, can get quite messy in their own end. So I think that'll really help the defensemen. Um, I feel like Chris Letang will really thrive under that system. Um, Matt Niskan probably would too, but I think he's gone. Um, and uh, someone to pray. It'll be interesting to see if he makes a jump. Uh, Derek Pouliot as well. However, he's recovering from shoulder surgery and won't be ready till November. But um, it's interesting if he plays under, under Mike Johnston. So uh, it's kind of a random hiring. Um, I'm willing to give it a chance. I mean, it's not who I would have hired. I personally would have wanted Guy Boucher, but apparently he has an out clause, and so he cannot opt out of his contract in Switzerland until next season, so he would not have been available. I do not want Ron Wilson or Mark Crawford. Uh, I've seen Ron Wilson in Toronto, and it was 
oh, just, just terrible. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the news for the day. Now the, uh, silly season has started, so the draft is on Friday. Uh, it'll be interesting to see who the Penguins draft. I'll be doing a little recap of that as well. Um, I personally hope that they go for Joshua Hosang, who's a very controversial prospect, but, um, hands down, top three in terms of pure skill this draft. His hands are filthy. He's an excellent skater. Not the smartest player, but you can teach that. You can teach a two-way game, um, and he played with not very good players in Windsor and still had 93 points. Fantastic talent. Played as minor hockey with Connor McDavid. Um, I'm hoping for him or Robbie Fabry, a similar type of player, but I don't think he'll be available. Um, Nikita Sherbuck is another name I would keep in mind. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video. I'm um, sorry that I had such a long delay. I was having some computer problems and whatever, but it's all fixed now. Um, so please like if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you really like it, share with all your friends, and I'll see you after the draft. Hopefully penguins don't do something really stupid, but it's a draft, so you never know.